Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. This is Prophetic Intercession with Amel. You're welcome. If this is the first time you're seeing me, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I pray it blesses you. In the name of Jesus, I do not believe in coincidences. I believe if God lets you here, it's because he has a word for you through me. I pray you stick around long enough to get that word. In the mighty name of Jesus, kindly consider to become a part of this family by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so that whenever there is a new content, you're going to be the first to know. And if this is not your first time, thank you family for always coming back. I love you all and I pray for you all. Always. So today I'll be talking to us about knowing that God has opened a relationship door for you. How do you know that God has opened a relationship door for you? The first sign is that there's going to be a small but progressive movement between you and that person it might be slow but there's going to be a movement a connection between you and that person building a godly relationship is like building a house that has to have a very strong foundation more important than what people see whether you have a chemistry or not more important than the finishing touches what the people see is the foundation of the building the erecting of the building the roofing and everything more important than the painting more important than the decor is the foundation god is going to help you have a good foundation you're going to be discovering each other day by day and building a solid foundation when you start seeing yourself being close to someone knowing the the the, the fundamentals of their lives and you both are having a deep rooted your relationship is becoming stronger day by day a godly relationship is becoming stronger day by day know that that is the foundation of your of your relationship you are building and god is God is opening a relationship door for you. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 24 and 25 I'll read, Therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them I will liken him unto a wise man which buildeth his house upon a rock. Any good relationship that's going to lead to marriage should be built on a solid foundation. When you realize that you, you are in a relationship with someone or you are close to an opposite sex and your foundation is becoming stronger and stronger, it is, it is very likely that God is preparing you to open up to a new relationship. God is opening up a, re, a new relationship door for you. Another sign to know that God is opening a relationship door for you is that you both are going to be in the right frame of mind to explore a relationship. Sometimes maybe after a broken relationship, you are closed up, you are so hurt, you don't want to maybe meet the opposite sex because of your experience in the previous relationship. But if you've healed and you are in that state of mind to get into a relationship and you meet someone too who, who is in that state of mind, the timing is right for both of you to get into a relationship then God is open opening to you a relationship door it is not for us to know the timing of when God opens that door God is in control of times and seasons it's not for us to know the timing when God is going to open that relationship door for us but when you see these signs you know that definitely God is opening a relationship door for you the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 1 and verse 6 to 7 it says when they therefore were come together they asked of him saying Lord will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel and he said unto them it is not for you to know the times or the season which the father had put in his own power but he sh so it's not a time for you to know the times and the season when God is about to open a relationship door for you but this is this 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 scripture was pertaining to the kingdom of God building the kingdom of God when God is going to come back again and all that but it can be related to a relationship it is not for you to know the times or the season that God wants to get you into a relationship it is not for you but when you realize that you are getting you you have this affinity for someone you you are in in that mental state where you want to be in a relationship and they too are in that mental state where they want to be in a relationship you have healed from your past hurts you have moved on then God certainly God is opening a relationship door for you you will both be in that season to explore a relationship 
when you realize that you are both in that season to explore a relationship, God is opening a relationship door for you. Another way you know that God is opening a relationship door for you is when there is reciprocation of interest. Where there is where when there is reciprocation of interest, many people are scared of maybe expressing their feelings to someone because they are scared of rejection. They are scared of how the person is going to react towards it. Every action is always followed by a reaction and so many people are scared of the reaction of maybe telling someone their interest and the person does not feel the same. Many people are scared to maybe express their feelings for someone when they like them because they are scared of rejection. They don't know how that person is going to react when they when they act by telling them how they feel about them. So that makes them to just hold back and they don't want to say anything. But when God has opened a relationship door for you, when you when you take an action, there's going to be a positive reaction to that. When you take an action and the person reacts positively, then God is opening a relationship door for you. The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 3 and verse, and verse 20, it says, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. If any man hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. It's the same for a relationship. Do not hold back. If you are the one who wants to, maybe you have the interest, you are the one that wants to maybe move up to the person to express to them how you feel about them, do not hold back. When you take that action and you react with a positive and the reaction from them is positive, then God is opening up a relationship door for you. You stand at the door and knock as the book of Revelation is saying. If the person opens it up, it means they are ready for a relationship and God is opening a relationship door for you. And if their response is negative, and, or they don't open the door it means they are not ready for a relationship but one of the signs you know that they are ready is that their, their reactions are going to be positive to your actions hallelujah another sign that when you see or when you when you notice this sign you it means that God has opened a, a relationship door for you is that those things that are out of your control are going to work in your favor they are going to work in your favor i was keen to write them down and please permit me read i wrote this you take ownership of what is in your control and let go of what is not in your control do what you can do and leave the rest to god just keep acting and leave the rest to god invite them out call them text them go to where they are to see them and if it works out fine if it does not then leave the rest in the hands of the Lord. What did I mean by that? I wrote it down because it, it just came in and it was so strong. It means that when you feel it, do not hold back. You may never know the response you're going to get when you reach out. Do what... Okay, for example, maybe if you know they are going to be in a particular place at that time, go there. If they are not there, it is not it is not um, within your control. You did what you had to do and they were not there. Call them. If they respond to your call, then fine. If they don't, then it means that maybe you guys were not meant to be. Even after you keep pushing, text them. If they reply, it's okay. It means that do what you have to do to knock on the door of a relationship and leave the rest to God. It is not within, if it's not within your control, do what you have to do and leave the rest to God. Call them if you must, text them if you must, visit them if you must, if you must, invite them if you must and leave the rest to God. If they don't respond, the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 19, it says, Behold, I will do a new thing now. now. It shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Now that is left in God's hands. It is God's place to either make the relationship happen or not. Your part is just to declare your interest. Declare your interest. Do what you think you should do. And if it happens, fine if it doesn't glory to God it means God does not open that relationship door for you but do not hold back on your actions because unless you act you might never know what the reaction might be I hope this video was able to help you know when God is opening a relationship door for you I love you so much stay blessed until I see you in my next video it's bye bye from me God bless you